According to court documents, 28-year-old Paul Snyder was spotted on surveillance camera, appearing to fire a weapon inside an RV Monday evening, the same trailer where two people were found dead. Tacoma police say someone called 911 just after 8 p.m. Monday to report a person lying on the sidewalk with a pool of blood around him. When police responded to the row of RVs near the Bass Pro Shop on Hosmer Street in Tacoma, they found two people shot, one on the street, the second inside a nearby RV. Court documents say surveillance video shows a man leaving the same RV where two people were found dead and say a muzzle flash from a weapon is also visible. A second camera shows the same man entering a nearby trailer. Inside that trailer, investigators found a man determined to be 28-year-old Paul Schneider. Investigators say he had what appeared to be blood on his pants. Snyder was arrested and is currently held on two counts of aggravated murder. I'm concerned because it's so close and it's so dangerous. You never know when one of those stray bullets are going to come through and hit you going to take your trash out. Two murders that marked Tacoma's 38th and 39th homicide. By Monday night, the city's 40th. That's when police say a man was shot near East M Street and Puyallup Avenue. An arrest has yet to be made. Tacoma's mayor released a written statement responding to what amounts to a 29% increase in homicides over 2021. She says that the city is working on passing a budget which includes a $371 million commitment to safer communities. In Tacoma, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.